by Detective Conspicuous Adam's mother. Her ladyship decided that a migraine would be a better choice. How did you manage that one? I hit a nerve. Macy's already trying to throw his weight around. He wants his brother's project. He wants Devin Cosmetics. Yeah, he'll get it. When hell freezes over. Hey, Lucas. Hey. Thanks for coming, man. It really means a lot. Love it was the best. I never would have made it through Harvard business without him. Man, good old Bobby. Always cracking the books. Unlike yours truly. Anne was perfectly fine this morning. But migraines can creep up so suddenly. Well, at least the rest of your family is here for you. Have you, have you met Bobby's friend again? He's a, he's a pretty great guy. Yes. At last. He, uh, he rode in with me. He's a fascinating young man. Lucas, I'm really sorry about Bobby, man. Thanks, Bob. And Bobby always had good things to say about you, man. He uh, really admired you a lot. The feeling was mutual. Was Mason giving you trouble? Yeah, he's just ditching to move into Bobby's office is all. Yeah, well, that ain't gonna happen. We are gathered here on this sad occasion to say goodbye to one who has left us far too soon. We are here to bring closure to the life of Robert James Devon, Bobby. Beloved son of Martin and Catherine, brother of Lucas and Macy, and a friend to many. Explain to me why we did this again. It's like an ancient artistic tradition. You have to become one with the paint. I think we're wearing more paint than the canvas. Go on, make fun, but Picasso swore by it. Hello. Ladies. What? Haven't you ever seen a couple of masterpieces before? Well, not some that come in such pretty colors. You know, Jody, I'm very disappointed in you. How could you not introduce me to Sobe High's newest scholar? Oh, um, I totally space Kayla McDermott. This is, um, Bill McKeith. So lovely to make your acquaintance. Ditto. And looking forward to more enlightening experiences in English class. From you too, Jody. What can I say? I'm a sucker for Jane Austen. Well, it was very nice meeting you, Miss McDermott. You too, Mr. O'Keefe. Miss Starr. Wow. Lindy would definitely want to kill you right now. What do you mean? <laughs> You've been here less than a week, and you're already sharing major vibes with Dylan O'Keefe. Trust me, she's a freak. Do you know what I thought of every night when I was in that prison cell? This. <laughs> oh, hugging my little girl again. Ex 
Except I'm um, not so little anymore. Oh, but in the father's heart, in my heart, you will always be my little girl, Pequena. Except now, seeing you like this, so... So grown up, so, so beautiful, that makes me realize how much I missed you. I missed you too, Daddy. Elena, I want you to understand something. I know that you wanted to visit me when I was in prison. Yes, I asked Jimmy Ray over and over, but he wouldn't let me. It's true. Why not? Because I didn't want you to be ashamed of me. I would never be ashamed of you. And I didn't want your friends to humiliate you. They wouldn't do that. Everyone knows you're innocent. Well, as long as you believe it, as long as you know. I do, with all my heart. I always have. But you shouldn't have kept me away. Well, I only wanted to spare you. I need it, you dead. There's so many things I just had to ask you. Things I couldn't ask over the phone. I know, and I'm, and I'm sorry. I'll I, I make it up to you. Will you forgive me? Of course. This injustice said, I, I will make it right. I, somehow I will find a way to, to make up for these five years. If, if you will let me, will you, will you let me, Elena? All I want is for you to be my father again. Nothing else matters. Go back. Te amo. Te amo. Te amo. Tomorrow we'll get together. We'll have a formal meeting. I want this settled as much as you do, Morty. And get millennia out on time, Stefan. There's no room for negotiation. How's the headache? Mine. Thank you. For all your support. You look like you need some air. Thank you, Stafford. Anne looks so much better now, don't you think? Too bad about the uh, numbers on Soleil last month, huh? Didn't see him. Suffice it to say that Martin's not impressed. You gotta be prepared to come up with some answers, you know? Otherwise, your baby's gonna bite the dust real soon, man. Oh, uh, you know, Macy, it's funny Martin didn't say anything to me. <laughs> He's had a lot on his mind. But when we do get back in the saddle, we're gonna have to take a hard look at some of your projects. <laughs> Are you need any supportive data? You, uh, let me know, sport. Will do. Well, it could turn into a problem. Oh, I think you can handle a policeman's son, don't you? How you doing? Will? <laughs> oh, Sage. my God, you're a sorry mm. son. Uh, how long are you in town for? Uh, about a week and a half. Yeah. So how is everything? Uh, well, if Macy doesn't get me the apple, she'll go. Should I get you some coffee? And show up in my senses. No, thank you. <laughs> so what's new in your life, Doc, huh? Are you in love yet? Bad for the blood pressure. Can I talk to you for a minute, please? What, and spoil the wake? Excuse us, Will. Will, Will, come see me at the club, okay? Okay, I promise. <sighs> Are you forgetting our little bargain sweetness? Hey, I'm reporting for active duty just like a good little soldier would, okay? Yes, but if you want to keep the club, when you come to a family function, you must do it sober. Devons and sobriety, honey, they don't mix. Just drink it, bitch. So how long are you staying in town, Ian? Uh, I thought I'd hang out for a couple of days. Good. Good. Listen, stop by the office before you leave. I'd like us to have a little talk. I'll do that, Mr. Devon. Thank you. We're going to check on Lucas. Make sure he's OK. I like him more and more. Telephone, madam. Thank you, Trevely. Oh, careful with him. Devon, residence. Yes, hello, this is Mrs. Erickson. May I speak to my husband, please? 
This is Catherine Devon. Oh, Mrs. Devon, I'm, I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. No, Stefan isn't here at the moment. The last I saw him, he was with Anne. all of this just to cheer me up. No. Actually, I just wanted to get lucky later and I thought this was my best shot. But if all this puts a smile on your face, then it's worth it. Thank you for your help today. I could not have done it without you. Yeah, you could have. You did. I wanted to tell you that, um, that I'll never forget your support. That sounds kind of ominous. No, I, I don't want it to. I just sometimes forget how much you mean to me. Are you ready for dessert? If something jumps out at me, you're in trouble. I think that's a risk I'll take. Go ahead, open it. Looks like that's for you. Ja, ja, nej, det var inget viktigt. Jag tänkte bara att vi skulle träffas och äta ett något innan provspelningen. Det har varit jättetrevligt. Minnar du det? Tycker jag också. Nej, men vi kanske... Vadå? Vi kan ta en drink efteråt. Hej! Hej! Hej, Nils. Jag har en snygg tröja på dig. Du är jättesnygg i blått. Tack. Hej, mamma. Hej. the third time you've looked at your watch. Don't tell me you're getting tired of your old father already. <laughs> no, no, Daddy. So you think you'll uh, swing by the club tonight, Roberto? No, not tonight, Jimmy Ray. I'm expecting a visit from an old acquaintance. Then I might go out with Lindsay for a little, catch a movie or something. Is that okay, Daddy? Well, just don't stay out too late. Uh, your friend the ship driver? Lindsay's super careful, Daddy. I guess I'm going to have to get used to all this going out, I suppose. Okay, well, I'll see you in the morning. Bye. I'll see you later. I'm bringing somebody over. Sure, Pop. No problem. Again, Roberto, it's, it's good to have you home. Well, I think I'm going to enjoy being back, amigo. Du kunde inte ha gjort det bättre. Det var skitbra, Alex. Kan jag säga rätt? Du har aldrig varit bättre. Tack. Tack så mycket. Jag kände mig lite nervös på första refrängen där. Du var helt fantastisk. Jag är så stolt över dig. Mm. Jag önskar bara att pappa kunde ha varit här. Ja, jag är ledsen, men jag måste sticka. Jag ska upp tidigt imorgon. Så. Vi ses. 
för att hon kunde komma. Du, jag måste dra. Kan du ta hand om mamma? Var ska du nu ta? Gör bara det. Vi, uh, vi tänkte sticka ut några stycken efteråt här. Har du lust att hänga på eller? <laughs> du vill väl inte ha med mig på stan? Ha så kul nu med dina kompisar och så tar jag en taxi där ute. Är du säker? Ja. Självklart. Vi ses. Hej. I'm sorry, Miss Hamilton. I haven't got any more tricks up my sleeve. Michael, what's with the bell? I was hoping I would have a reason to ring it. Yes, Michael, I'll marry you. Yes. going to be there for me today. You weren't. I know that. You promised, Anne. There's no excuse. None. What? What did you want to talk to me about? What are you trying to tell me, Bobby? You gotta tell me, please. Tell me you feel the same. And nothing else matters. <laughs> 